Six Star and Vista have been added into the MW3 ranks play rotation today, and you clicked on the perfect video for God Spots, Nade Spots, Callouts, and more. Subscribe if you learned something from these eight steps. And tip number one is Six Star God Spots. The first spot is by P2. If you hop on this table, then turn around, you can spot anyone over challenging the top heady. There's this ledge over here by DJ. If you hop on the ledge, it gives you a head glitch that looks over their side of mid. You can also hug this corner to your left to get better positioning towards your right push. And if you see somebody cross towards your stairs on the right, you can actually walk along this ledge and shout them from underneath the railing. You need to keep in mind that all of this bar is the perfect height for you to head glitch if you crouch. Use this to hold time and look at their side. Same thing from here to hold time and look at the other side. You can even watch both sides from inside the bar as well. And even down here towards pool. So just make yourself useful while you're holding the hill. Stay crouched at this bar. If you're trying to climb up here, don't straight up mantle from underneath. If these windows have yet to be broken, hop on them first, then the light, and then jump out to your left. That way your gun stays up the whole time and you're ready for any gunfights, rather than just straight up long mantling up top. You can do the same thing on this glass here, checking up top before jumping on the light and then going up to the plat. If someone's holding time from on top of the boxes over there, a great way to check for that is to hop on this ledge here. We're able to see people just over the railing. You can also jump check this from the top of the front railing too. If you're trying to ego chow P1, you can do that from this lip here. Jump on top of the couch and then on top of the railing before strafe jumping out and chowing anybody that could be in P1. Now another great spot in P2 is actually this corner here. You can at first walk up, get some height before jumping up and then you're here in this corner. A great place to hold P2 from and a great off angle for anybody that might be pushing from the vent or from poolside. There's a nice head glitch from this planner, but you can't strictly jump. You have to climb up first on here and then drop down onto the tree. That allows you to get this nice head glitch that looks over the A-plat. Keep in mind this railing here is very important if you hop on top of it. You can stray far left enough to check bomb, and you can even use this hedge as a head glitch towards the right side of the map. And if you zoom out, you can see both at the same time. If you're looking for a better way to challenge this head glitch, you can back up further into the windows and hold it from here. And if somebody's holding the right side, you can see it from further back as well. Also crouching at the window gives you an equally as good head glitch for both sides. Also they can jump up top, and if that ends up being the case, you can hop on this table before crouching, and now you have the better head glitch over them. Keep in mind that all of these doors are bulletproof from both sides, so use this to finesse your way into a free kill by distracting them for long enough to get the chow through the crack. You can do the same thing for these doors up here. I would just leave one open, get the information first before chowling the open door. If you plant the bomb for this corner here, you can back all the way up towards mid, where you can lay down and play your life before standing up and checking the bomb. You can do the same thing from back pool, like so. And if you plant for this corner right here, you can back up to this planter, where you can slowly fall behind the ledge, lay down to play your life, having both your left and your right side, and then you can crouch and you can back up to stand all the way up to check bomb this way. You can even hop up on the railing if they're laying down and diffusing. If you plant a bomb for this corner right here, you can of course run to mid, check your back before throwing a shoulder and checking bomb from here. But also, if this glass is unbroken, you can follow it, crouch, walk all the way along the glass before you get to this post here. Then I will turn around and you can look far enough to check bomb from this corner. And if you zoom out, you can check a little bit of your back as well. Just don't look too far to the left or else you'll fall down from the railing. Tip number two is six star nade spots. A lot of people will be pushing down this alleyway. So you need to know how to nade it. Off the offensive spawn, what you can do is cut right, look halfway between this wall and this wall before jumping and sending the nade. This will go through those windows and blow up in that corridor up and over through those windows at the top, catching a bounce before landing in that area. Of course, with EOD, these are all team nades, so you want to make sure that your teammates know these nade spots as well. From the opposite side, not quite as fancy, but if you cook the nade and then send it through the left side of this window, this will land over there and take care of anybody pushing that side. Like I said, this goes up and over P1, taking care of anybody that's trying to push mid or the mid plat. If you see somebody cross right towards the mid plat, you can cook the nade from the same spot, but send it over the right part of the window. That's not what I meant to do, but it worked anyways. So do the same lineup, but better than me, and it will actually go there. I just ended up getting lucky. This A-bomb statue is going to be a huge power position, so you want to know how to nade this. From the offensive spawn, there's actually a lineup through that opening there. You want to cook the nade for just a second before jumping and sending it, and it will land at the A-plat. goes right through the opening that we were talking about, landing at the statue taking care of anybody that's on A-bomb. Although it doesn't look like it, there is an opening in the ceiling between mid and A. So you don't even have to get fancy through the glass. You can if you want to. But you can just cook the nade or even a Simtex before sending it up and over to the A side. 
So like I said, no opening in the ceiling, very easy nade. Be sure to use this during both hardpoint and search and destroy. Now for that same head glitch from P2 with the right side of the couch, line up with that hole in the ceiling, jump and send the nade. This should land at that head glitch that we were talking about. From kill cam going up and over B bomb and landing right at the plat going to be a very common point for people to be at so make sure you know this nade tip number three is six star spawns very similar to the search and destroy spawns red team is spawning over here towards the defensive side and blue team towards the offensive side not too much craziness when it comes to p1 it's a head-on battle between both sides you get some splits towards the rotation as you can see that is a possibility for people to spawn security and now going into p2 very similar sides from the right side or the offensive side left side and defensive side but the thing about these spawns is they shift up towards the top of the mini map this is closer to that p3 plat so there's a p3 spawn and then there's that offensive or security spawn sometimes you'll see some mid splits in here as you'll see later on in the hill but for the most part these spawns end up being towards the left side of your mini map or the right side of your mini map like i said p3 and security hopping in here to p3 you have your back piano spawns over here by the defensive side you have some mid splits like you just saw so if you don't get these spawns in the way back it's very possible to get split spawns from mid and then from pool like we'll see here in a second you'll see these p2 and pool spawns come in and then the mid spawns come in as well. So the red team gets both of those, but it's possible for red and blue team to get those if the back isn't fully blocked over here, which is what we're seeing right now. So keep that in mind. It's not always a push from the front and the back here at P3. Sometimes you'll catch people mid and you'll catch people spawning P2. Make sure you're checking these mid steps regardless of whether you spawn P2 or mid. Now here at P4, the map split a little bit right now, but the spawns are going to be over here at back piano and then here at the offensive side. So you'll see Red spawns come in at the offensive spawn, pushing towards security. And then blue spawns will end up being towards mid or piano. As you'll see, they got the piano spawn back here. And they're going to funnel through mid. Somebody got to spawn even further back. Pretty straightforward for all these hills, thankfully. Because that's all that we can ask for in these maps that are replacing invasion. Up next is P5. Right now, it's the pool hill, but I believe they're changing it pretty soon. This is going to look similar to P2 spawn. And that one team will spawn P3 plat. And the other one will spawn towards P2 or the offensive side. You'll see as the kills come through, red team spawns on offensive side of the map. Blue team will end up spawning towards defensive side. Honestly, this is more similar to P1 than it is P2. They seem pretty far back, actually. Um, very similar to the spawns off the very beginning of the game. Tip number four is six star callouts. We have P1 or bar. This is DJ. This is fish tank, mid plat. This is you. This area is statue, statue heady. This area down here is secret. This area of the map we'll call piano because of piano. This is P3, P3 bar. This is God heady. We of course have pool, pool room, mid steps. This is P2, this is vent. This building is security, low security and top security, back rails, and this is P4. Tip number five is Vista God spots. The first spot you need to know is off spawn. These stairs can be wall banged like paper. So chat with your team for a free shadow ban. I don't condone this, but if someone is stair glitching on these mid steps, which ranked play kids will do, you can lay down right back and shoot them through the stairs. If somebody's playing those same P1 God steps we were talking about earlier, if you spawn up on this side of the map and line up with this trash can, you can actually shoot them from underneath the steps and it's like paper. A great way to counter that heady, but an even greater way to get shadow banned. Near P1, these steps allow you to sink into one of the best head glitches in the game and you can strafe it too. So if anybody's pushing from the P1 door, behind that desk or pretty much anywhere on p1 these stairs are going to be the god spot for keeping anybody off of p1 up next is for top burger if you break the door out you can actually get a nice line of sight towards anybody playing the p2 plat from their point of view they're not even able to see you now if somebody's playing hill from the right side of that building you can actually check for them through these windows here on both sides the p2 building can be wall banks like paper as well so if you know that somebody's pushing this back alley you can easily shoot to the bottom part of this take care of anybody pushing from the low steps also from p2 you can grab time from the lamppost if you strafe jump from the top of the building this is a great ego off angle to chow anybody going mid right side or top lap if you hop on the right side and crouch here not only do you have good cover looking towards those steps over there you actually have a head glitch towards the back of the map so if you're spawn trapping and are able to get to this spot right here this is a great way you can even go further to the right and check that full bridge cross on the left. From the same sign, you can actually head glitch towards the right side. First, you have to jump up on the rail and then you can crouch. It gives you a nice angle towards top window. And then if you zoom out, you can also see the low steps push. So this is all of front time on P2. Coming over here to P3, the only way that you can jump on these hedges is from the railing here. If you strafe jump onto the other hedge, you can actually grab time from here. You can crouch and watch the deep spawn as well as anybody pushing the left side of hill. You can also go to the other side crouch and look towards all the bridge p1 and anybody pushing the right side 
You should keep in mind that if spawns flip and you want to go to the other side, you can do so from the outside of the map without falling off or dying to the barrier. This is a great finesse spot for switching sides during P3. I can't show you during private match because the out of bounds timer is locked to 2.5 seconds, but in ranked, assuming that it works like how it was originally, there is an out of bounds route with a five second timer. I'll play that for you again. That allows you to flank P3 by jumping out of the map, climbing on top of the railing, before jumping on top of that green railing and then up to time. Unfortunately, this is already a pretty common route on this map. So how it hold time is just like this so that you can see if anybody's trying to finesse that route outside of the map. If you find yourself on this side of the map and want to try to break hill, you can do so by hopping on the planners first, then on the sign. And then if you jump, you can check above the plat to see if anybody is holding the back of the spawn from here. Once you clear that, of course, you can break from the steps and push up. If you want an angle towards this back steps without being fully exposed, you can see diamonds through the left part of this windowsill and you can shoot through it too. Coming over here to P4, you can hop on this railing and still stay in time. This is a great off angle if people decide to push you. You can also check back arches and single palm. There's a ton of awesome spots from P5 or the bridge hill. One of the first ones that I'll show you is on the opposite side of this sign. If you crouch and then go up to the right, you have an angle towards the left side as well as towards the right side. And you're still in the hill. On the other side of the sign towards this box, if you crouch and slowly move left and right, you'll see my body sinking towards the floor. You can get far down enough to get the bottom part of the rail lined up with the top of the bridge. It's an even lower heady to contest anybody pushing from the P3 side. And then of course you can stand up and look towards lower bridge before crouching and going back down. If somebody's playing the backspawn building towards that window to contest P5, you should know that you can crouch at these boxes and get a line of sight between them. A similarly great head glitch that stays in time as well from the rocks. If you hug this ledge right here, you can sink far enough towards the bridge that this is a great head glitch over the railing. And then of course from earlier, you can strafe to the right and look lower time as well. You can go on these rocks here, which gives you a head glitch over ticket to look P1 and P1 railing. And you can even see all of P3 as well from here. Uh, some people don't know that you can hop on top of this, which is a greater way of getting from low bridge to top rails. Easy rotation from P5 to P1. You can go that way, or you can just jump straight up to the railing and mantle here. From the same roof, you can jump on the lamp posts, which would be an interesting way to fight people that are P1. Tip number six is Vista nade spots. To take care of any opponents that are pushing tower or tower to mid, what you can do off spawn is aim the nade over that left hedge. This will land on the deep side of mid and take care of anybody holding those steps. You'll see in kill cam, this goes up and over mid, landing at those deep steps at the top of tower. And the same nade from the other side, as you're going up tower steps, cook the nade and send it over the bar and grill sign. This will land deep mid, and as you see in kill cam, right over bar and grill, landing at the deep mid steps. The next nade is for the step heady. Off spawn, of course, after you give the steps a couple love taps to see if they're there. You can send a nade over that same trash can as well. This will go all the way over P1 as you see in kill cam, landing directly at those god steps. The next nade will land here as this is where a lot of people will funnel as they're trying to push P1. From the same god steps to the P3 side, all that you need to do is aim it over the left part of that building, jump and send the nade, or you don't even need to jump actually. And in kill cam you'll see this goes directly over P1, very simple nade, and lands in that alleyway. I would send this nade pretty much off spawn every single time you're trying to contest P1. Tip number seven is Vista spawns. You'll see here on the mini map at P1, the spawns will come through here towards office or over here towards single palm and tower. This is gonna be a lot of mid flooding and a lot of those God steps like we were talking about earlier and that nade spot for that funneling area towards P1 over here by the desk. Fortunately, these spawns on P1 should stay fairly consistent. You'll see the rotation start to come in towards P2 here a little bit towards the end of the hill. And now here, once P2 spawns up, the spawns are similar, but a little lower on your mini map you're going to see a little more single palm and closer to back burger and then over here in depth should shift a little bit closer to the p2 side as these kills come through they're even spawning back dj so just be ready for a nasty spawn trap dj as long as you're here blocking the back depths some splits will come through like you saw that's just modern warfare 3 from the sounds of it once p3 spawns up you're going to be looking at the same single palm spawns maybe some top burger and top tower and then some as far back as office and deep spawn so for now, the favorable spawns are probably going to be tower just because you can easily check mid and P1. A lot of funneling is going to be happening over here towards the middle part of the map and then towards bridge. So you'll see the single palm spawns come through. Somebody gets a split over here towards bridge. But generally, those are the main spawn points you're going to be looking at here on this hill. Now for P4 over here towards tower, you're going to see people spawning souvenirs on the red team. So the souvenirs will easily funnel into single palm. 
and then the blue arrows are spawning over here towards P2. So a lot of contesting for top tower, top burger to get control of the hill. And then the people that spawn over here towards souvenirs and P3 are going to be working towards single palm. And the last hill P5 at the bridge, your main spawn points are still going to be at souvenirs and dark. And then over here towards depths, probably working P1 control is going to be your best bet for breaking, especially if you're the team that's spawning souvenirs, just so you're not shelling the head on gunfights at the bridge. The people that are spawning back depths and back office will probably, for the most part, funnel P1 as well towards that alleyway we were talking about earlier. And then some people, like you see number four is doing, will push towards office and try to challenge hill from that angle. The main two spawn points are going to be souvenirs and then depths and office. And tip number eight is Vista callouts. We have P1. This is diner. This is mid, mid steps. This is P2 plat. All of this is P2. You can call this ice cream corner. This is burger, hot burger, burger steps, and long. This is tower. So tower steps, tower plat. Flat. This is P4. This building here is DJ. Single palm. This is arches. Back here is souvenirs. This is art. Art leads to bridge in P5. And art steps leads to P3. This is rails or top rails. Behind bridge, all of this is rocks. Rocks leads to ticket. This is office or back office. This entire area here is depth. And those are my eight tips for the new map, six star and Vista. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like or a sub and I'll catch you next time at lunchtime.